Welcome back to Let's Play Thrill Off the Rails with the DS. A strange version that is probably kind of like the black sheep in the Thrillville family. Hello. There's a wombat here. And this wombat has information about why our dragon princess thinks she's a frog. Supposedly. Wait. Why did I think Willie was female? Whatever. Did I think Willie was female? Did I ever say that? I, I, I'm i not even paying attention to what I'm saying at this point. I'm too distracted by the peculiar faces. I think we both have the exact same eyeballs. And smile. And nose. And ears, probably, but it's kind of hard to see on my own face. I wonder if the game tells me when I unlock new characters to play as. Anyways. Draft trailers. Okay. Wait. I am the manager of this park. What is off limits to me? But I always guess I was right about this. We need to defeat Willy's Wombat Army. No platypuses. Okay. Platypodes. Platypi. Whatever. But okay. I should be able to do this. Oh, why is it lagging? Oh no. I'm 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 accidentally cheating. I think. Okay, so we're probably gonna have some pretty tough games eventually for the trackpad that's for me to play it's just how things usually go but right now I can actually do this pretty fine so as you guys can see where I have my mouse any given point or my uh oh not necessarily my mouse but where I'm clicking at least but you can see at least when I hit something successfully this one's actually fun I actually do like this a lot more than I like the equivalent minigame and oh, in other versions, this this is actually really really good for this control scheme. I had to get exact. I had to get at least three hundred points, didn't I? Looks like I got three fifteen. Oh, whoops! I thought I, I misread that somehow. I thought. X was continue, like, continue with your life, even though that's not what Pygon was asking at all. Anyways, I could have gone there as far regardless. So it doesn't look like you have to, like, worry about combos or anything, though. Alright, I'm missing a few. Clicking right around them. And just uh, don't hit the platypodes and all should be fine, because that's how I lost 20 points. I think it just like a hard time goes on, but no, it kind of starts at full throttle and stays that way. And it really gets to the point where you can't reasonably expect to hit all of them. I don't feel like. Oh man! I clicked that one before it even came up out of the hole. I mean, usually by the end of these games, what separates people that are really good from people that aren't. Okay, yes, I got a better score by still one. Is having a bunch. I mean, kind of once you can't possibly expect to hit all at once unless you're ridiculously good at the game. Oh, hypno disc! Oh man, it's actually a, something that I didn't, I didn't expect to see from the other versions. I thought we were gonna diverge a little bit harder. But we're just gonna take it for granted that hypno discs are a thing. Okay. So, unfortunately, we're not going to get to talk to the dragon. I wish I could kind of keep up the illusion that the dragon is the princess, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Ribbons! I just want to take myself in ribbons. Anyways, though, so now I'm... I guess I'm just going to say, go talk to this person. Yeah. And I know where she is, actually. I mean, aside from the name of her telling me. I have a general memory of it. Hey, princess, I just kind of appeared, like, directly in front of you. I can ex I can just kind of force you to play a game with me for some reason. Hi. You're looking awfully not dragon today. Dragon, thinking she's a frog and looking like a human for some strange reason. I hypnotized her appearance. Cool. Wait a minute. Huh. This protagonist stalks themselves a lot more than any of the other protagonists in the Thrillable games. If I build a- what- what- what kind of reasoning do you have, dude? I don't know if you should trust this guy's line of- lines of thought. This is what- what? Morty? Leave me alone. 
Don't encourage this. Poor boy. I don't even know how old he is. I can't tell. Everyone looks the same. Themed attractions. That's actually cool. That's something that other games are actually legitimately missing. Research then. Oh, never mind. Okay, well, I guess I'll do that. Unbelievable, you talk to a princess that is a dragon, looks like a human, and thinks she's a frog. Trying to find somebody based off of all those criteria, very vague criteria that cannot ever possibly point to a single specific person. What well, that sleuth you are, having managed to find the right person. Extra large wood coaster. And some thrills. I had, I experienced 1,000 thrills simultaneously. So is this always going to be this linear? I'd hope not. So right now it's just to just do this thing and then do this other thing. We'll find out. Right now I haven't even had a reason to build any stuff, although the game's implying it's going to happen soon. I did like though how in the other versions you could at any point, unless you're at the very end of a park, or maybe at the very beginning. Nah. Unless you're at the very end of a park's quest, you could always make a choice of which particular kind of quest you want to do at any given moment, because they weren't all linear for one, but then they also were organized by theme. So if I wanted to do a build thing, I, at a given moment I could build the thing, generally. Or play a game, or whatever else. And finish that. No! Forced labor. Never. You're not allowed to have any personal life. Working for us is a full-time commitment. You're never off the clock. You don't have friends and family. The company is your friends and family. That, that, I don't think that's how... Okay, I think... Evidently what matters to you more is playing a game as opposed to actually getting to be with your friends, but okay. What's, why is the thing that defines this whether I can be an air hockey? Like, whether I, whether I can beat you as opposed to whether we just play and you enjoy it. Whatever. Seems like the countdowns are slow, but everything else seems to play at a pretty normal speed. Yeah, everything else feels like it's at a normal speed. It's gonna be awkward. I will give them this, they're actually playing... Oh, darn. Wait, she doesn't even have a score. Yeah, I just need to get four points. Does like end eventually? These are games that actually are very appropriate for touching control so far, which I approve of. It's awkward for me to play. Aha! This music though, it's so dramatic. It sounds like something out of Shadow the Hedgehog. Like, can you have, like wouldn't it have like the exact same feel to it if you had the wow. West Dropless theme playing instead. Oh no, she. Okay, so you need to hit four points before she does. I get it. Yeah, it's weird. It seems to lack at the beginning, but then it goes just fine afterwards. So these are awkward games for me to play. But. From a DS game perspective, this is actually pretty wise design choices. Because so far at least none of the touch controls feel forced. I hope that there are some games that aren't purely touch controls. There's just more to life than touch controls. So let's see if we once we get into like arcade games and whatnot. For the games that aren't arcade games this makes sense. Like Whack-A-Mole and Air Hockey. So I'm gonna play this a bit more defensively than anything, just hope she eventually slips up. Like that. I wasn't aiming for her goal or anything. I'm just trying to not oh, do that. Why well, does it make different sounds for when each person scores? I think there is on the air hockey table that does that. This would probably be easier for me actually. I don't know if it be easier for me. This might be a little bit easier for me if. Darn. This is a very strangely authentic feeling air hockey experience, so I'll give it that. Ah! Oh! Wait, do I, do I need four points or do I need to beat four points? 
Is a tie good? Yeah! Plummet upgrade, whatever that means. Should I go talk to us? It says I complete the goal. Oh, I think these might be different kinds of missions. Maybe? These do have different looks to them. Okay, so some of these are more passive and some of these are more... I get it. So these are like the Oryx story types of ones. Wait, so do I need to beat her again? Oh no, I I got I won the challenge because I challenged them to stuff. Okay, so that didn't actually start. I wasn't sure to win. Okay, but we can actually take a quick break and talk to some people. Trap the other quest. Okay, cool. I did it. Social interaction achieved. Yeah, we can just knock some of these out whenever you feel like it. Instead of always doing whole story things. I know we could have just like complete the plot stuff and then do all the other stuff afterwards so we can have some more free reign, but for now I think it'll be good to have a nice mix. And the thrill bow version. Build a Ferris wheel. I don't think I have time to play a game right now, but there's a bigger plot here, if I remember right. Yeah. I don't actually have to be over here physically to build something here too, which is good. Grand tournament. Anyways, different icons. Crazy looking icons. Mayhem. No, I'm looking. Where is a Ferris wheel? There we go. Cheap Ferris wheel. I hope it's like up to code. <laughs> Are we got some safety issues here. I'm trying to drag you around. Can I not? I guess you can't. Oh, yeah, I can. I can see you have a vague degree of control over where these things go. I don't really like any of these orientations, frankly. So I think you can still build stuff in this area, though. I could still build a soda stand or something there if I wanted to. Okay. I think I'll say that that's that for this episode too. Yeah, so lots of other passive things to do. So we'll worry about those after we take out the challenge next episode. Being this person here, hockey. So I'll see you guys next time. So let's play. Drill the DS. Off the rails for the DS. Ready to play your hockey? I can't, like, mash the tap. The text doesn't actually advance if I do it too quickly. It's interesting. Alright, see you guys.